If your relatives are more concerned about you getting married than you are, you need to send them a photo like this. That will keep them wondering for a while. Anyway, back to the basics and this is my AI generated girlfriend and here is the before and here is the after. It's mind boggling, isn't it? Now, before we jump into how can AI create this because there are lots of issues around it, let's look at the image. There are a couple of things that's gonna blow your mind. First of all, look at the face. The light on the face is coming from behind and from the left as well. And also in this AI generated lady, the light is coming from the same direction. Not only that, have a look at the ambient light. So it's coming in from there on the lady as well. There is that ambient light. There's a little bit of light coming in from the right hand side. Even here as well, there's that little bit of light light. That is crazy. If this is not insane for you, take a look at this. There's the sunlight falling right there, which is already very realistic. But have a look at this shadow right here. Now, take a look at the head. It is in direct line with that of the head. If the subject was standing right there and if the light was just that way, the shadow would be exactly that way, which is just bonkers. Now, you might be wondering, how did AI create all of this? First of all, there are a lot of issues, right? Because if you upload a face to Dal E, it just would not accept that. Secondly, if you try to generate a face in AI platforms, it creates things like this. So how can we create something like this? It is very possible. Let me show you. First of all, this is a brand new fresh email that I got from OpenAI just 13 hours ago that said you can now upload and edit photos with faces on DALL-E. So why not take advantage of it? Now, this opens up a lot of possibilities in DALL-E, removing people, adding people, changing features of people. We're going to discuss all that in this video. So let's start with adding that girlfriend. It's already cropped properly. Click on crop, click on edit image, erase the side or sides where you want your girlfriend to be. And depending upon whether you want your girlfriend to keep your arm on you, you can erase those areas as well. And let's describe the entire image. Man taking a selfie with girlfriend and click on generate. And there you go. These are my girlfriends. Interesting faces. So couple here. I don't know what was that. But anyway, you got to go ahead and keep on trying. Maybe one time you'll get something decent. This is the second result. And this one kind of looks decent. But what I'm going to do is change the text man with girlfriend. And let's go ahead and try that. Now, if you take a look, this one has got the pose and everything right. The arm is there and the face is there. It's a little awkward. But then again, we'll try some more. Now, these look a little better, don't they? But the face is too weird. But we can work that. Don't worry. Again, this is okay. But then when you look at these, don't get too close, come on. And take a look at these, these are okay too. I think we can go with this as well. Wow, too close. So this can work. But since we have already created somebody covering her hair, we're gonna go with something a little more challenging. So that's fine, let's go with this. Click on edit again. And this time we're gonna extend it on the left hand side and for it, click on this button, add generation frame. And let's keep it just this much. Let's modify the text a little bit in a big, city so that it creates that in the background there you go that's nice similarly you can extend on the right hand side but for now let's go through different options i think this one would be nicer you can try modifying the hair select the eraser again let's decrease its size and let's paint on the hair a little bit or any area that you want to modify right here everything else seems okay click on generate face we're gonna take care of that later let's go through options weird that's nice I think we're gonna go with this. Let's download it by clicking on this button. Let's save it right here. Now, how do we fix the face? There is another AI that fixes problematic AI faces. <laughs> yes, let's take a look. Before we do any of that, we need to have some preparation. First of all, here in Photoshop, we have opened the image and we are just gonna crop one face. So press C for the crop tool, clear everything, and let's keep it to just one face. Hit enter and quick export it. Go to file, export, quick export as PNG. We're gonna save it as cropped, save press ctrl or command z or z to get back to the entire image now let's open up cropped in another ai the ai that we are talking about right here is gfpgan just google it click on the first link with github scroll down to find the updated links to the demo let's go with the first one now here you probably need to be signed in to run this by the way it's free as of recording this video so all you need to do is to upload the cropped image right here and you can resize it if you want to and by default it's two let's leave it at that and click on submit there you go get ready for it from this do this that's a huge improvement now i know the teeth is not perfect but we can fix this in photoshop by taking someone else's teeth but have a look at it this is a drastic change by the way you can also use this technology to fix low resolution faces or old photo faces which have been damaged anyway so let's save the image by right clicking and choosing save image as and save it right here and from here you already know what to do let's drag it and drop it right here we're going to go ahead and align that and then just keep it at that and it's done. You can make some more adjustments in Photoshop, but take a look at it. 
there you have your girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever you want. Now, since faces are now allowed, there are plenty more complicated things you can do. For example, let's say you have a group photo with a lot of people hanging on to each other and you want to remove someone. Well, let's try that. Now, the most complicated person to remove in this image is this little lady. Let's send her to play. Decrease the size of the brush and let's paint over this young lady. Now, there are a lot of hands mingled right here and it would be interesting to see how AI processes them. We're just going to type in group photo. Let's see what it does. And there you go, just at the first try. By the way, what is this? That's crazy. Anyway, let's take a look at this. This is very interesting and the hand might look a little weird, but apart from that, this is crazy good. I don't know what AI was thinking right here. Let's try a few times. It just brought in a new kid right there. Anyway, some images are good. There you go, that's nicer. Why is she holding a phone? Anyway, so this is nice. And in the previous one, I liked this one. So if you like this one, you can click on edit one more time. And if you don't like the hand right there, you can fix that as well. So let's decrease the brush size and let's paint right over there. And let's generate again. And it should be fine. There you go. Lots of better renditions. So this is a little better. Or maybe the original was better. Let's look at the original one. I think we're going to go with this. This is the one that I had also generated. Take a look. This has also created a wonderful result. So this or this that we created with Dal E, you can go with either of those. You can just download and go ahead with this and nobody would notice. In fact, do this experiment. Show this photo to someone and ask them what was edited. It would be hard to tell in 90% of the cases. And if you do the right corrections in Photoshop, in 100% of the times, it is just impossible to tell. Now you can also add stuff if you want to. Speaking of adding stuff, why not just add some hair? We're just going to type in man with natural hair and let's generate. After a few tries, this my friend was the result. And the crazy part is, even in cases where I didn't get it right, have a look, it also created the shadow corresponding to the hair. So I think this is the best one. So there you go, my friend. Dull E with Faces has completely opened up possibilities for everything. And for correcting faces, you already have GFPGAN. And all you got to do is to upload your bad AI faces and this would be the result. Now, although for now, GFPGAN is free, but Dal E is not. And I'm not a fan of the pricing model again because it's a credit-based system and it charges you per generation, not per download, not per the things you like, but per generation. But either way, the technology is cool. I wanted to show this to you. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other feature tips, tricks or tutorial. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Bye.